Hi friends! It's Emily from the Upper Skagit Library in Concrete and I'm so excited to be doing the December story time with you all. Um, we've got a new theme, a new background, we've got new books, we've got a new song, and we've got a new craft. Are you guys excited? I know I am. <laughs> um, so don't forget, we also have story time books on the theme. This month's theme is snow because I love snow and I love playing in the snow and I love snowboarding. I love making snowmen. Um, so we have books on those themes at the library if you guys want to come pick them up and do your own story times at home um, or if you want to do story time in the library. Um, but uh, first, before we get started, I have to sing the hello song. <laughs> So you guys can sing it along with me, or you can sing one, because I do it two times, you can sing one, or um, you don't have to sing at all, that's fine too. So here we go. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to you. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Yay. <laughs> all right, one more time. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Hello to you, hello to you, hello to you, hello to you. Hello, nice to see you, everyone. Yay, that was so much fun. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready for the first book? I know I am. So the first book that I have is called Are We There Yeti? And it's by Ashlyn Anstey. Everybody wants to know, are we there, Yeti? This is Yeti. He drives our bus. See all the kids in the bus? Where are we going, Yeti? It's a surprise! Look, there's their school, and they're off on a trip. You guys want to say this next line with me? Or you can say it after me. Say, are we there, Yeti? <laughs> it's just like the title of the book, huh? What do you see over here? Yeah. Not yet. Are we there, Yeti? Oh, what's this? This is a beach? How cool. Not yet. Oh, it looks like they're driving past the beach and up, up, up the mountain. There's a guy skiing. I like to do that. How about now? Nope. What about now? Nope. I'm hungry, she says. I'm bored, he says. I'm thirsty, they say. I have to go to the bathroom. Me too. Me three. You guys want to say it along with me? Are we there, Yeti? <laughs> Where is there? What do you guys see? Do you see a cave over here? There's something maybe in the cave. I see some footprints. Do you see anything else? They're looking around and trying to find things too. They're kind of looking in the cave. They're looking at the trees. They're talking to each other. Look, she sees the footprints. What's that? Looks like there are more than one. Well, now what? Look at that. Are they meeting new friends? That looks like so much fun. Go have fun. <laughs> Look. 
dog. They're hugging and they're playing and they're rolling up snowballs and going sledding and making snow angels. And a big snowball fight. Oh, and it's my favorite. <laughs> okay, kids, time to go. Oh, we don't want to go, Yeti. We're not tired, Yeti. Yeah, we're not ready, Yeti. Don't worry, we'll come back again. Bye. And then they say really quietly on the last page, are we home, Yeti? <laughs> the end. Is that a cute book? I like it a lot. So what all did you see in that book? What did you see them doing in the snow? They were making snow angels and they had a big snowball fight and um, they were rolling up snowballs. Do you think they made a snowman? Hmm. You know what? I actually have a song about a snowman. <laughs> Do you guys know I'm a little teapot? Okay, so this song is a little bit like that. It's a little different. It's called I'm a Little Snowman. So it goes, I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here is my scarf and here is my hat. When I see the snowflakes, hear me shout. All you children, please come out. <laughs> That's a good one. It's kind of like I'm a little teapot. It has the same tune, huh? <laughs> um, does it rhyme? Rhymes a little bit, but it doesn't rhyme with I'm a little teapot, huh? So it goes one more time, okay? So it goes, I'm a little snowman, short and fat. Here is my scarf and here is my hat. When I see the snowflakes, hear me shout. All you children, please come out. <laughs> That's a fun one. So you guys can sing that at home if you want to. Uh, I think I'm going to read the next book and it's similar. It's about the same kind of thing. It's called How to Catch a Yeti. Do you guys know how to catch a Yeti? What do you think they like? They like snow, but what else? Well, let's find out. It's called How to Catch a Yeti by Adam Wallace and Andy Eckerton. Look at those pretty snowflakes. It's kind of like my background. So, legend has it that there lives a beast we all really want to meet. He's extra huge with snow white fur and giant fuzzy feet. I know the Yeti does exist and I can prove it too. So with my friends, we'll find him fast before the day is through. Whoa, look at this giant footprint set in the mountain snow. And there's a trail just up ahead. I wonder where it goes. <gasps> Is that a Yeti photograph? How did that get there? Hey, that's the beast we're looking for. We must be in his lair. Do you guys know what a lair is? I think it's like his home. Look, he's got a rug and a stool and a chest of drawers and a little painting of himself. more of it in that picture. I knew it. I knew it. He does exist. Our Yeti friend is real. And look, 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 just over there. I swear I saw a heel. Do you see the heel? The foot? Can we catch the Yeti? You bet we're going to try. Our crystal snowflakes might have worked, but the Yeti said bye-bye. Do you see the Yeti on this page? I see a couple of them. Or it looks maybe like, like the shadow of him. But I see his little face right there. <laughs> Syrup, check. Candy, check. We'll catch the Yeti, no doubt. Unless Yeti's very hungry. Whoops! He just got out. <laughs> Quick, he went in that 
room. We're going to catch him now. Yep, where'd he go? That tricky dude, he escaped again. But how? Do you think he escaped? Or do you think he's hiding? Do you think he's hiding? Swish! We thought that marble, sleds, and snow would finally do the trick. But Yeti's moves are off the charts. That dude is really slick. Ka pa Do a little feet. This crystal clay cave is glowing bright. Ooh. This crystal cave is glowing bright. I love the colored lights. Too bad our bubbles didn't work. We forgot about stalactites. Do you know what stalactites are? They're the things hanging from the ceiling. Wait, maybe they're coming from the bottom. Stalactites and stalagmites. I can never remember which. Grab your gear. We've got this, guys. Don't forget to aim. We finally have a trap to win this Yeti catching game. The trap is a, a ram and some snow foam. Oh, you know what? Have you ever made little snow shooters? These plastic cups with a balloon on the bottom and then you pop it and the balloon shoots out snow. You can shoot out like little cotton balls or something. So they're shooting out foam though. I thought for sure that this would work, but the Yeti got away. I've got an idea that just can't lose. One more shot, what do you say? I wonder what they're gonna do. Okay, this is our final chance. We haven't caught him yet. Our Yeti Snatcheroo 3000 will catch him quick. No sweat. Look, Poof. what is he doing? He's He's shooting out something from one of those little snowshooters. Our snatcheroo was just too slow and yet he is too fast. Even though we missed our friend, today we had a blast. How do I see over there? <laughs> oh, it looks like they got a text. Thanks for playing, kids, he says. Those traps were so much fun. Please come back and play again. Our friendship's just begun. Come again soon, they say. <laughs> it doesn't look like they were really trying to catch the Yeti, huh? It looks like maybe they were just trying to play a game. So that was called How to Catch a Yeti. I really like that one. So I have a craft that we're going to do next, and I think you guys will really like it. Um, so here it is. All right, friends, we have got a craft today that's a lot of fun. It goes with one of the books we were just reading. It is a snowball shooter, just like in How to Catch a Yeti. Um, so all you need is a paper cup. Oh, you can see you can see the background through this one a little bit, huh? You see that? Um, you need a paper cup, you need a balloon, and a pair of scissors. So you're probably going to ask an adult for help on this one. Not probably, you definitely need to ask an adult for help. Um, because what we're going to be doing is we're using the scissors to cut out the bottom of the cup, and then we are using it to cut the top of the balloon. All right? So here I go. Right, so there we go. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be perfect, but um, you should do it so that this bottom part stays intact a little bit because what you're going to do is you're going to take the balloon and you're going to put it over the bottom of the cup. So this creates a nice sturdy place for the balloon to go. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. So I made it a little loose that you can grab it. Do you hear that? 
So you're going to grab it and then you're going to shoot out the snowball. I'm going to have a snowball right here. I'll put it in the cup. You see it in there? And then I'm going to go. Did you see that? That was so cool. Boop. Put it back in. <laughs> Yay! That's a lot of fun. I hope you guys have fun with it too. We'll have cups and balloons at the library if you want it. Um, otherwise, this is probably something you can just grab at home if you have it. So there you go. Have fun. Wasn't that fun? It's just like in the book. So now you guys can go and catch your own Yetis. <laughs> um, so we're all about done today, but we do have one more thing to do. We have to say the goodbye song. Do you guys remember how it goes? If you don't remember, that's okay. Because what we do with the goodbye song is that I sing a phrase and then you repeat it. All right, you ready? Let's all say goodbye in a fun, silly way. It's time to end our happy day. Hasta mañana, iguana. Hasta mañana, iguana. To your house, quiet mouse. To your house, quiet mouse. Adios, hippos. Adios, hippos. Uh, gotta scoot, little newt. Gotta scoot, little newt. Let's all say goodbye in a fun, silly way. It's time to end our happy day. Yay! I had so much fun with you guys today. And um, I would love to see you at the library when you come in. Uh, don't forget that we have an extra special story time, a holiday story time this month. And um, I'll see you at the next virtual story time. Bye! Bye-bye!